Supposedly, Marduk still remains in our solar system with a 3600 year cycle. Again, I'm not interested in your emotional ramblings. Hey, hey, what, what happened? You two fighting? What's this guy talking about? Oh. Oh, he's talking about mythos and, you know, all kinds of fancy stories about uh, how ancient stories from religions predating Christianity actually explain how our universe and our solar system came to be. You know, utter horseshit. But you should be familiar with that, Dal. That's it. Ugh, fine. Uh, I'll, I'll just wobble over there again, you know, it's gonna be one of those days again. And don't tell me I didn't warn you, Dal, because this is gonna even hurt your brain. And will one day return into our inner system and cause some gravitational anomalies to our planet and make everybody queasy. Are you still going on about Nibiru, the supposed planet we have detected using gravitational recalculations, which is just demonstrably not true? You know, if you're gonna embellish your fancy stories, don't lie, because you can run with that lie, but the truth will always catch up. Okay, that's Zechariah Sitchin's interpretation. Uh-huh, and I'm sure your interpretation is exactly the same with a few twists. Also, send over the sword. You never know when it comes in handy. What the fuck, man? Just bring it over, don't shoot it at me. But, like, that's pretty wild. Is there any truth to it? No. What about that? I'll see you Does in the up? for fuck's sake. Del, mate, look around. Now, does this look like your raid shack? Oh, anything else in the natural environment? This is my field. There are many like it, but this one is mine. And you, sir, are a bother. Oh, yeah. Well, the search for a more distant planet beyond Neptune has been going on for a really long time. It's often called Planet X, and there's actually a lot of evidence for a massive body in deep space orbiting our sun. Oh, is there now? Uh, would you mind present- he's not gonna present it, of course he's not gonna present it, he's just gonna talk about uh, queasy people being wobbly on a planet that because uh, Nibiru is coming back for a game of tag, I guess? I mean, I'm trying to get into this guy's mind and uh, I'm just trying to fight my way out now. Also- We see this due to the fluctuations of comets and whatnot that seem to suggest they're affected by some massive gravity that we haven't found where it's coming from so far. It has been suggested that there might be a planet out there, but not everyone agrees on it. You are claiming we actually have evidence that it exists, when in fact we have no such thing. It's a hypothesis, which still has astronomers highly divided on even its existence. All we have so far are some odd clustering of Kuiper Belt objects and odd orbits we can't explain. And because of its suggested distance from the Sun, it's going to be a very faint object, which will be hard to detect using our current generation telescopes, but it could be possible. Not to mention, if it does exist, its suggested orbit is not going to go into our inner solar system and make everyone queasy. Get the fuck, spirit science fella. Mike Brown and Constantine Batygin are two very prominent planetary scientists who have proved without a shadow of a doubt, Planet X is out there. Beyond the shadow of a doubt. Uh, you don't know what that means, do you? I mean, because uh, we are still trying to figure out if we even can detect it or if it is even there. See, see, this is what I mean with you just being a fancy storyteller. Nothing more, nothing less. Charlatan, <coughs> charlatan. <coughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? Granted, we can't say it's definitively this Nibiru. All right, stop, st hold it right there. We can, let me just correct you on that sentence there. We can't even definitively say it's there or not, so... Yeah, that was gonna happen. I mean, what if it's a Death Star? Yeah, uh, no, why don't you leave the jokes to me, hmm? For fuck's sake. You don't- <laughs> I mean, it's obvious he doesn't take this serious. He's just talking woo from his woo hole. And I'll leave it up to your imagination to figure out what hole that is. Anyways, if this story is true... Which it's not. It explains a lot of things. Trying to make reality fit your narrative doesn't explain things, so shut it. It explains the asteroid belt, which is said to have been caused from the planetary collision of Tiamat and Marduk. It also explains the moon, which is believed today to have been created in a massive collision billions of years ago. Thanks. Also, you might wanna... because there's a... Oh crap, there you go! Uh, we? The story explains Pluto, which has a crazy orbit and nobody today knows definitively where it came from. Definitively. Oh boy. You keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. And finally, it explains Uranus, which today there's a lot of studies about just how weird that planet is, with its sideways tilt, warped magnetics, and stuff like that. 
So your dragon space battle uh, with all the weird gods with four eyes breathing fire and, you know, slapping kids around trying to murder their own kids. You truly believe that those myths, those fancy stories from the past explains everything around our solar system? You know what bothers me the most? You seem to be a fairly decent animator. Such a waste of talent. Scientists believe it too was involved in some big collision a long time ago. How about that? Yes, how about that? So a simple collision is uh, uh, your basis for your fancy dragon story. Oh my god, what the fuck am I even watching? But then again, we got a call into question the accuracy of these translations. Wait, what? You are actually going to question your own questions? What? Oh, this is going to be... I don't know what this is going to be, but please, do go on, I guess, maybe. Oh, what am I? Why am I? Why are we? Why are you? Are they legit? I mean, maybe. Maybe not. Right. Even if the translations were correct, you are still embellishing on this story, like, you know, just trying to make it fit into our solar system. And it's a huge place. But your horseshit simply doesn't fit in our solar system. Heck, I think even the universe is too small for the scale of your dipshittery. Ultimately, you have to decide for yourself on this one. Yes, de deciding for ourselves. Uh, every individual person has to decide for themselves. Because that's how science works. Maybe it's all just like a really really good coincidence a lot of people have pointed out that zechariah sitchin embellished his stories <laughs> wait <laughs> so wait uh he embellished his stories and you are embellishing on his embellished stories that sounds about right and others suggest that he actually couldn't ever read sumerian cuneiform at all oh please spirit science fella please tell me you get all your information from know your meme in this case Giorgio tsukolo's meme about i'm not saying it was aliens but it was aliens. How do you feel about that? Does this answer your question? Then, finally, there is another interpretation available today called the Electric Universe Theory. Uh-huh, and it just so happens that Mortimer has already addressed that particular subject you managed to spew out your woo-hole. Of course! I'll provide you spiffies with a link to that, as well as to my previous video on this dick flute. Now you did impress me, Jordan, and not in a good way. You actually managed to outclass the five face palms in that longer video by one face palm in this short follow up, as well as setting Sir Sick on fire. How do you function? Anyways, uh, I'll see you spiffies in the next video. Uh, bye bye. Alright, we're gonna remember to pick up the bell and all buttons around it and all that jazz. Nah. Is he? Nah. <laughs> That's just. He's putting a hose on his hose. We're gonna find the ink demon. Is this open? Oh, that's... That, it's open.